And we're going to start with what's called Euler's formula. Now, this is the same Euler as in Euler circuits and Euler trails. Euler's formula says if you take a planar graph and you take a drawing of it with no edges crossing, so here, I don't intend that this is three separate graphs. I intend that this is one graph. It's a graph with three components. So the formula is when you take the drawing, if you count the number of vertices and subtract from it the number of edges and add to it the number of faces, then you get one more than the number of components. Okay, now, we have to understand what is a face. So look at the component on the left, and you can see and there's an obvious notion of a face. When you have three vertices that look like that, they enclose a region in the plane, which is a face. Sometimes that region is, I guess the way it's drawn, all the faces are, are three cycles. But obviously, you can have a face which is a bigger cycle. Now, look at the component in the middle. It encloses a triangle, and that's a face. The one on the right also has a triangle in it, and that encloses a face. But there's one face, which is called the exterior face, which surrounds them all. So when you're counting faces, count one for the exterior face. All the, there's only one exterior faces. There, there can be lots and lots of interior faces. Okay. So for this graph with three components, I want you to just look at it and tell me how many vertices it has, how many edges it has, and how many faces it has, and verify Euler's formula. I've done the hard part. I've counted the number of components. And that's my joke for today. You count the number of vertices, the number of edges, and the number of faces. I just said, I just said there's an exterior face, and then there are the interior faces enclosed by cycles inside the components. Who wants to tell me the value of N? 20? Anybody get a different answer? 20 vertices? 20, okay. If you haven't gotten in, write it down somewhere. N is 20. What did you get for Q? The number of edges. Somebody says 29. Going once. Now, you can either compute F by the formula, or you can compute it by looking at the picture. Let's look at the picture. On the component on the left, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 interior faces. That's 10. There's two, one in the middle and one on the right. So that gets me up to 12 interior faces. And the exterior is 13. Okay, now, did, do those numbers work? The numbers were 20 minus 29 plus 14. Does that equal 4? And it does. And so this is Euler's formula. The number of vertices minus the number of edges plus the number of faces is one more than the number of components. Very useful 
formula. But it starts with something. It's just a, a, a statement. 